Hello everyone, this is Val from Val's Craft Creations and today I am bringing you another project. Um, it's part of my design team project for Lilyfi the Paper Wish. And I'm going to be making a mini folio with a notebook. Um, I know I have done a lot of folio. I love folio, let me tell you. That's one of my favorite projects. And when she contacted me with this beautiful paper, she said she would like a folio. So I went ahead and cut my pieces already, but let me tell you about the beautiful paper I'm gonna be using. Um, printed this page twice. So let me show you the actual um, paper kit. It brings six pages and the name is Ephemera Red Collages. Um, she had this paper on sale right now, 20% off for $3.19. But she has um, different special going on on her store. If you buy three of her digital kits, you get 15% off. If you buy five kits, uh, you get 25% off. And if you buy 10 kits, you get 40% off. And let me tell you, her prices are very affordable. And I'm in love with all the paper collections that she has on her Etsy store. It's, they're so beautiful. Every time that I do a project, the project looks beautiful. So um, I'm going to leave the information for her Etsy store on the description box so you can visit and get this beautiful paper or any other paper that you would like. So it brings um, six pages. The name is Ephemeral Red Collages. So um, this is the first page. Look how pretty this red is. Um, I think she used vintage um, ledgers and vintage paper to create the collages on these pages. Let me unfold that corner there. So that's the second one. It brings this um, postcard that I think I'm gonna use as pockets. And it brings more ephemera. It brings this page, um, it looks like belly bands, but I, I think it's to do collages. So I may do that, I may cut them um, smaller pieces and use them. I don't know yet what I'm gonna do. And more ephemera. So since I don't have a lot of papers to work with to cover my folio, I went ahead and print this two twice um, to cover at least the base of my folio and then for the pockets i may use some of the postcards and i was thinking to add this paper that i have it's a craft color paper i know it's not the same as this and it's more like burgundy but i found some of the pages have some of the elements like the flowers that she have on her collages i had this one with a postcard here um so I was thinking that I may incorporate the flower here. Some pieces of this paper, I don't know yet. Depending if I if I get short on what I use what I gotta use to decorate my folio, I may incorporate some of these pieces of this paper. I know it's not the same color, but you can make it work, right? You can add later, I can add lace and trims that maybe i have some like craft color um trims and i have red so I, I may incorporate some of this and you know make it work so i had this on the side to work with my folio but i'm gonna put this on the side and we're gonna talk about the folio now what i'm using here is four um red cardstock um the size is the same as the copy paper. Um, let me show you here. I went to Hobby Lobby and bought six of these, but I only use them four. And it's just the size of, you know, a copy paper. And I'm gonna tell you what you're gonna need. So the first one you're gonna fold in half. So this is the first one. You're gonna fold that one in half. Then for the next one, the second one, 
you're gonna fold in half again but then you're gonna on these pieces you're gonna fold a half an inch flap and on this second piece i cut it a little smaller so, so when you fold it in half it's five and a half and I cut this one to five inches and then I fold a half inch here. So you're gonna have a piece that is gonna be four and a half and this is gonna be to close your folio. This is to add another piece. So this piece will be the five and a half and you just fold half an inch and you're gonna get a piece five inches. So with these two folding one is gonna be five inches, five and a half and then when you fold it, it's five inches. You're gonna cut this piece to five inches and you're gonna fold a half inch. So you're gonna get a piece four and a half. So the whole piece, the whole paper, fold it in half. The second paper, you're gonna fold in half, cut it in half. This one, you're gonna cut a four, a five inches, fold half an inch. This one still is gonna be five, in, five and a half inches for half an inch, so it's gonna be five. So that's three pieces. You're gonna need another paper and you're gonna cut this, a piece that is five and a quarter, and this is where your notebook is gonna go. So this one, you're not gonna follow do anything. And uh, the paper, I, I don't know what paper I'm gonna use. I may use um, avocado dye paper, but we're gonna work on the base right now. I don't wanna confuse you. And then for the other piece that you get the paper that you're gonna use for your notebook, you're gonna cut one piece, four and a, a quarter, four and a quarter. No, let me open it like that. So, so this is my other piece, okay? So this one is, um, five and three quarters, okay? And when I fold the, I, okay, sorry. This is my paper, right? I cut this piece. This is the third paper that you're gonna need. It's five and a quarter, okay? So what you have left is this here. And it's gonna be, it's almost five and three quarters, five and, five eight, that's what you're gonna have left. And then you're gonna fold half an inch and you get a piece that is gonna be five and one eight. And you're gonna cut that piece in half. So you're gonna fold it in half. So this piece is gonna be five and three eight. Let me see. If and five eight, five and five eight by four and one eight, you, and you're gonna fold half an inch. So what I did, I fold this half an inch and then cut it in half, okay? And then the last paper, that's what you're gonna need for. This is, it, it was like this, kind of like this, you know, this is the other half, I don't know, it was like this. Okay, so that's your paper, I know it's not. <laughs> okay, so what I did, I cut this piece four and three quarters, and I cut it in half, this. I'm not gonna use this big piece. Uh, I'm gonna put it on the side, maybe I will add another flap to my folio. But this piece that you have using is four and three quarters, and you're gonna cut that in half. And that half, you're gonna cut and two triangles in half like this di diago diagonally. And you're gonna, so that's the pieces that you're gonna need for your fold, you know? Hopefully it's not um, too confusing. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm gonna construct the base for my folio. The pockets, we're gonna add all these pages, all these, we're gonna add it later on um after they are decorating with the papers that we're gonna use okay 
okay? So right now, you're only gonna need the full paper that you fold in half and the other full paper that you cut in half and then you did this to flap, okay? That's what we're gonna work on right now. That's gonna be the base of your folio. So this one, the smaller one, is gonna go on this side. And then I wanna do, after I decorate it, I wanna do like a decorative border or something. I don't know yet. I don't know if I wanna add lace or what I gonna do yet, but that's my smaller one is gonna go there. My larger one is gonna go here, okay? And you can glue it here inside or you can glue it outside. I usually do it outside, so that's what I gonna do. Let's start with this one. We're gonna apply glue or you can do your um, double-sided tape. I'm gonna use my glue. And after we glue this down, I'm gonna show you where is that the notebook is gonna go and the other pockets. Oh, you know what? I think I may need that other piece that I say that I'm not gonna use because I, I forgot that I wanna do a flap going up like that. But let's, let's glue this down first. And try not to go all the way to the folded line. So that way it's easier, you know, if you have space here, is you add more stuff to the inside, it will close without problem. So that's that flap. Now we're gonna add the one for this side. I didn't use a file folder because I want to use my base red because the paper that I'm gonna cover this, I, I think I'm gonna cut it like half an inch around smaller so I can see some of this border, uh, the red border. That's why I didn't use a file folder, but if you don't have cardstock and you wanna use a file folder, you're more than welcome. A cereal box you can use too. Um, you open the whole cereal box and then cut the pieces that you need. Okay, so this is the base. So this is gonna go like this and this is gonna be your closure. Here, this is the top of your folio. It's gonna crease my lines. So this is gonna open like this. Then let me grab my other papers. My notebook, I'm gonna attach here, but this is gonna go here because I don't want, I'm gonna use eyelids to attach my notebook and I don't want that to look, to be seen in the back of my folio. So I'm gonna attach my notebook here and this is gonna be glued down on this side. So that's that paper, okay? I think this paper is kind of different red, right? Yeah, it looks different. Then my little pieces here, this one is gonna go here and it's gonna open to this side. This one is gonna go off here and it's gonna open to this side. So this is gonna be here. This one is gonna go here like that, okay? Then this is gonna go right here, like this. And of course we're gonna cover this. I don't like that this paper is a different red. The other red is more like burgundy. Let me see if these two. Yeah, this one is different. So I may cut, I don't know, I may use it, I may cover them, it doesn't matter. But this is gonna go here and here like this. And then this is gonna be another pocket in the back. So you're gonna have a pocket here and then this here. This one I'm gonna have pocket here and on the other side. Then your notebook will go here. And then here I may add another pocket, a belly band, something. 
Um, so that's that's the base for your folio. I was thinking to add another flap, like going this way, like here. So I may add something or create a pocket here, but I think I'm gonna change this red paper. I, I don't know yet, but I gotta cut all my pieces that I'm gonna cover this and I will come back. Okay, so I cut my pieces that we're gonna be using to cover our folio. I also cut the ephemera that the package, this digital kit brings. This is what I have left of the papers. So I have it here on my side in case I'm gonna need it. And so let's get started by adding, you know, covering our base. Oh, you know what? I forgot to cut my notebook. Let me get my avocado dye paper here. And this is coffee dye and avocado dye. So I'm gonna put it here on the side and we're gonna do the notebook last. So let's get started by gluing everything now. And what I did, and that's what I usually do, I number my panels. See right there, one, this one is 14. And I always number, uh, this one got wet. My um, panels and then my papers. I always do that, it's easier and it's an organized way of you to work with your pages. So let me put this on the six, seven, five, four. I was um distressing the edges, so I moved some pieces around. Um, but I distressed my edges using this archival ink. Layer, layer it. Um, the color is vermilion. That's the one that I use to distract my edges. So we're gonna start here with number one. And I cut my paper smaller than my folio. You can do that or just cut it the same size as your panels. Because I want this, like I told you, I want the edge of the red paper, the red cardstock to um, be my border. So let's get started here. I may glue some of them down and then come back. That way we don't waste time. But I'm gonna um I'm gonna do a couple with you. Some of the panels with you. And I also forgot to grab my um trims and my lace. But I will do that after we glue some of this down. I need to get a new glue. This one is, I don't have a lot and it's hard to come out. So carefully leave a border around it. Um, I'm gonna try to make it even as much as possible. This is number two. So my number two is gonna go right here. It looks so pretty with the red border and this beautiful paper. I love these colors, I think. My whole life, this is like my second or third project that I did red. And I think one of those or two are from Christmas. Um, but this is so pretty. I don't know how I'm gonna do my closure yet, but I probably will do those fastener thing that you go with the, I don't know how you call it, um, with the, like a ribbon, um, I think it's faster, I don't know. But I will, I, I will decide and, and I will let you know, of course. You know that you go with the string around two circles? That's what I'm thinking about. Okay, three, let's do number three. It's 
Paper is a little bit smaller than this one, but it doesn't matter. I don't know, I want a printer of those that have no border. Even if I put no border on my printer, I always get that white border somewhere. So when I cut my paper, this one was smaller than the other ones, but that's fine. This page. I don't mind it, because when you close it, you're not gonna notice it. As long as I leave my border here around it, um, try to be even as much as possible. That's fine with me. Put a little bit more glue here. Okay, and then this is 14. I don't know why. Uh, oh, because 14 is gonna be, this is upside down. But I don't mind. And this is gonna be a pocket here. I wish I had printed this on cardstock, but I didn't. But that's fine. So I'm just gonna use my double-sided tape for this pocket. And it's upside down because I cut one of those triangle pieces. I cut a piece of this paper and I didn't notice that it was kind of upside down, but I don't mind that because when you decorate and do all this stuff, you're hardly gonna see that. So this is gonna be a pocket on that panel. And I think this is a quarter inch um, double-sided tape. Making sure that my tape is sticking to my paper. As you know, I was sick for three weeks and I'm trying to catch up with all my projects. I don't like to be delayed, but you know, I was coughing so much, I couldn't record for more than three weeks. But my next project is gonna be an Easter project with some beautiful paper, so stay tuned for that. I have another paper that I have an idea. It's, a small, it's just one paper from Lily Fee, the paper wish. It's from the Orient Express, and I'm gonna do like a mini, um, I'm gonna use the paper as a cover for, um, let me see, where's my, um, it's gonna be like tier of tickets or tier of clusters. That's the idea that I have for that specific paper. So stay tuned for those two projects coming up soon, probably this week. Okay, so this is gonna be a pocket here. And then I'm gonna have all the stuff here. Oh, you know what? Oh my goodness, let me see where, um, okay, so, okay. Oh my God, I forgot that this is going on here on the inside. Make sure that it's not upside down. Let me attach, let me put the things that I'm gonna use on these two panels. Okay, the notebook's gonna go there. Eight. And nine are gonna go here. So let me cover that first. And this is the ephemera. Let me put it to the side. I'm gonna use some of this postcard uh, pocket. This is 10. Nine and eight. So this is gonna be pocket. 
Let me use my double-sided tape again. And I'm just gonna put it on three sides. I don't know if I want to do a little notch. I may, I may not. I will see. Well, probably I will, so you know that that's a pocket, but it can be a hidden pocket. They so so sticky. Oh my goodness. I know I say I, I was gonna do song off camera, but I wanna um finish you know at least putting this panel on my folio and then I finish decorating and come back but I want to do this part first with you here okay so this is gonna be pockets so let me attach this because then I'm gonna cover this with my paper and I forgot. So that one is gonna go right there. I'm trying not to go all the way to the folded line there. So let me make sure, yep. Okay, so let's put our pockets. Let me see, do I want Maybe a little notch, not that, that big. And what I am using for this pocket is the postcards that came on the, on the paper kit. Same thing, a small notch. Oops. Okay, let me see where my distress brush went. Fall off the floor and now up oh, here it is. Stress. And I'm gonna add a pocket on the other side and then I will be back after I'm done putting all the paper on the panels and we will do the notebook. But I don't want to take too long and then the video is gonna be like two hours. I remember when I start recording videos, my, my tutorials were very long. I didn't know how to stop and add another a part to my video and all that stuff. And I still don't know how to um, edit my videos. I need to learn, but at least they're not as long as it was before. Okay, so now we're gonna add 10 and 11. So 11 is gonna go here and 10 is gonna go inside and they're gonna be pockets too. So let me just do a little notch. Okay. 
is so pretty. I love the combination of color of the red with the cream color. Okay, so this one is gonna go here and this one here. So you know what, just to, I don't wanna take too long. I should have put the tape before, but I'm just gonna go like this with my glue. Okay, so what we have left to do is cover these panels, put the notebook here, and then the triangles are gonna go here with this pocket, but I'm gonna cover them and then we will come back. Okay, so we're gonna finish decorating our folio. It's looking good. So I did my notebook. Um, I What I did, I fold, let me see, one, two, Sorry, I didn't cut four pages copy paper of my avocado dye paper. I cut it in half, but I think I did a five by eight and a quarter for this. And then I added a pocket under my pages, a hidden pocket. And I use my eyelids here, my red eyelids. And I put this ribbon, this lace through my eyelids and I now we're gonna glue the whole piece down here and if you don't want to um, do the whole piece maybe you can do like a hidden pocket in the back behind this notebook but I just gonna we have plenty of pockets so I'm just gonna glue my panel this panel down the whole thing and just a second let me turn my glue gun on because we're gonna be using it to finish decorating this. Let me put plenty of glue here. Make sure that everything is even. So I have my notebook. Make sure that here on the top, glue down because I have my lace here. I was gonna use something smaller, but I didn't find anything. And I like how this look here, but you can use anything that you want to tie your notebook. You even can, um, Staple it. Nobody's gonna see the staple and um, um, after you glue that panel with the notebook down, so. But I just wanted to make it more girly, more romantic. Okay, so now here, I added this pocket. I, I was gonna add a piece of paper and cover this, but I'm gonna leave it red because I have my pocket, my corner pockets that I'm gonna cover some of the uh, of this um, pocket. So I want it to be red. And I already placed my double-sided tape. So just add a po that pocket there. Um, you can cover it if you want to. I don't, I don't want to, but you can cover that pocket. It's up to you. So I'm gonna add my corner pockets. 
Да. Excuse me. It's still coughing a little bit. I did the COVID test and it was negative, things got. It was just a bad flu. Every time that I had to put my injection for my rheumatoid arthritis, my defense go very low and I cannot be around sick people. If I am around sick, a sick person, I will get sick real fast. So I think I got that flu back to back, to be honest. That's why it lasted like three weeks. Let me cut this little corner here. Ah, it's looking so pretty. Let me open here. Uh, uh, let me show you what I did here. I did this side pocket. There's one here and there's one here on this panel. And then you have four pockets on these ones. You have three pockets here. Then you have your pocket there. I want to add something here. Um, like a little pocket. And I think I'm going to use this. Um, let me see what else do I have here. Let me grab my cards. Or oh, maybe this one. I think I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to add a pocket down here. I'm just gonna glue it down because I wasn't thinking to add anything there. Well, I was thinking to add like a lace um, belly band, but I'm just gonna add a pocket. Okay, then here, I, I may do the lace. I had this beautiful lace here, and I think I'm gonna do a belly band right there. I see my glue is ready. I like this lace because you still can see underneath a little bit. It's uneven. <laughs> I cut it uneven, but that's fine. I don't mind. I don't mind. That gives character to my project. Okay. So let's see here. Maybe we can do like something here. And for my closure, I think I'm gonna go with the lace that I use inside, go around it. I think I like that. I had this little trim here. I wanna do something here, maybe another belly band but going this way like a mini belly band or maybe here on this side like a pocket i don't know i don't like that um how it looks there so i'm trying to see if i want to do like corner tuck. You know what? I think I have a little... Yeah, I'm gonna add that there. In that corner, we will have something there. Oh, I have... I'm sorry, I'm just looking at what I have on my table and see. Maybe... I don't want to do anything on that side since... But maybe we can add this little thing here. Like a side pocket. But well, let me see which one I like better. Okay, 
yeah i'm gonna go with this one let me just cut these white borders looking so pretty and let me distress the edges real quick we are almost done this is an easy project is this is an easy folio I will say if for beginners. Because there's folios with a lot of flip and f flip outs and flaps and pockets. Very intricate. I have some like that. Um, but this is kind of beginner's folio. That's why I call it a mini folio with notebook. I, I don't know. I like the simplicity. I don't want to add that red. I want to keep like the um, cream color going on. Okay, so for my closure, this beautiful lace. Where's the end? Let's see. Get my center here. You can put this underneath the paper before you put the paper, but I don't know. I like with this one, I like how this cover a little bit of my paper and that you can see through. I like that. So, but before we close it, let's put some things inside. Put that there. I need something like a tag larger here like this, but I'm gonna put this for now so you can see that there's a pocket there. But I'm gonna do a, a, a tag, a larger tag. Put this here. This you can use as journaling space. You can use all this as journaling space. I, I think I'm gonna put the larger one in the back. There. This little one here. Plenty of pockets, plenty of pockets. There, and let's put this here. This one is a small, I'm gonna put it like that. Something like that. That's it, that's it for what I have right now here. Let me get these things out of the way. I don't think that I'm gonna add lace like on the borders, like anything, cause I really like 
how it's looking right now. And sometimes you overdo it, you know, then you have a lot of things. There's probably that, you know, it, it takes a lot of lace and all that, but this look pretty as it is. So let's take a look. So this is your folio. It's gonna be like this, right? So when you open it, you have your belly band there. Oh, here's a pocket. Let me, I don't have anything, but let's put this little paper here for now. Let's do like a little, um, mini notebook here. Okay, so you have this pocket there, pocket here, pocket here. You have three pockets here, one, two, three. These two pockets, more pocket. There's plenty of pocket, I love that. And then you have your hidden pocket under your notebook to put your like secret notes. And then this one here. So let's close it and see how it looks with our closure. Look how pretty. I'm gonna leave it like this, like. Like cross like that. I may cut that a little over. So this is it, my friends. This is it for this project. So don't forget to visit Lily Fee the Paper Wish Etsy store. Look, I mark my table while we'll clean it. And take a look at her beautiful papers. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Leave a comment below. I would really, really appreciate you can leave a comment as soon as you watch this tutorial. I know you leave the comments on my Facebook group and other group, but please leave a comment here. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't um, hit that notification bell, do so today so you can re receive notifications every time I upload a video. Thank you for watching everyone. I see you in the next tutorial. Happy crafting.